Hey, welcome to Spotlight Creator Studio and in this video we are going to talk about animations and all the animation commands you need to know. To add an animation to the character, click to the round bracket and type the animation you want to add. Generally, there are two types of animations, looped and unlooped. The major difference between them is that looped animation will be playing non-stop without influencing the pace of the script and non-looped animation takes its time to complete the action. Let's look at the example. Here we have the looped animation on the first line, but when we start playing it we don't see this animation happening. The studio brings us directly to playing the second animation. After we put the pause to our script we can see all three animations played one by one. You can manually change the type of each animation on Spotlight. Just add looped or unlooped code to the animation. Do you see the change of playing the animation in the new scenario? Now the first animation has the beginning and the end, so the studio plays it. But it skips the second because we looped it and did not put a pause. And now the narrator speech bubble appears after the character finishes playing Idol Sync Serious animation, instead of appearing immediately like it was in the original version. If you find an animation too long, you can shorten it by using the duration command. Don't use the duration command with looped animations, otherwise they would look a bit buggy. The other thing you can control on Spotlight is the animation rate. Rate 1 is default. The bigger the number is, the faster the animation plays. Numbers below 1 will slow down the animation playing. If you put an extremely big number, you will see the final frame of the animation. For example, this is the finished frame of the search animation. We didn't see the rest playing before, because we put a really high rate. On Spotlight you can connect animations and make their play look smooth. For example, look at the three animations on the screen. The first animation doesn't have any hands movement and the second does. Then on the third animation character puts her hands to the chest. If we use mix for every next animation, then the character will connect all of them. There is also a delay command that you can add to an animation. If you watch the customization tutorial, you already know it. This command, as you may guess from the name, delays the action for the time you write. For example, here I set the delay for 0.8 seconds, so the character will play the sync animation for 0.8 seconds and then she will move to the laugh animation. You can use mix and delay commands to combine animations together and create your own unique animations. Let's combine those two animations with using delay and mix. You can see that the second animation happens 0.5 seconds later. Make sure to check out those functions yourself and create your amazing new animations. There is a special kind of animations on Spotlight. You can define them by this symbol on the top of preview. Those are interact animations. Use the interact command to create a more realistic hugs, kisses, carries on hands and dancing. The interact code can only be attached to the character whose hands should be around another character. Let's see the example. It's important to remember that the character who interacts should be written after the character who receives the animation. Like here on the screen, the MC is first and then we spot the ally. If you want the character who interacts to speak, you can write their name before the recipient and then you write their name again and then add the interact code. A kindly reminder that in the tutorial book you can find a big paragraph about animations and the demonstration of all the commands. That's all for the animation tutorial. Thank you for watching. Create and share your stories on Spotlight.